when you're very little and you have very passionate family members that are uh, to a great extent in a lot of pain and they are Cuban. They're flying the flag all the time. They're talking about their lives all the time. What child would individually, independently claim to be anything else but Cuban? And I'm an exile, from an exiled family that was politically unappetizing, but I'm a, personally a product of the United States. And this gets to maybe a deeper question of why people like myself in Miami, we still refer to ourselves as Cuban especially when you're young, just make you feel m more patriotic to a history that you have no idea of. You have no connection to, you didn't experience anything, only story and photography. I found it difficult to connect photographs to reality. So, uh, we decided, let's figure out how to bring a car from the United States into Cuba, the first one since 59, I believe. Let's take Q60. It was a monumental task. And so when we finally saw it pull out of the container and onto the, the ground outside of Havana, the passion in that car, the, the power, the, the shape, the sculpture is uh, something very dear to me. To drive up to the Tropicana or some of my family's buildings, I thought this was, oh my God, a once in a lifetime, obviously. And especially when we had the Q60 on the street, people would marvel at the car. I mean, the, not just because it's not a normal car for the streets of Cuba, because in their eyes and they're focused on everything I was saying, there was a deep curiosity. But it just struck me of how much they love the automobile. Human beings, we're unique in that we're not happy with our feet. We lack a patience. So we, we jumped on the horse. And then the, we became frustrated with the, the speed of the horse, so we made the automobile. So the automobile became this kind of manifestation of all of our ambitions to go beyond our own abilities. And then I think slowly it became a representation of society. I believe that an automobile is about the dreams of a culture. When we were able to see the Max Borges house, my uncle, the railing of the stairway into the bedroom was this kind of sine curve, which was geometry, but also not geometry. It had a little bit of his own sense of warmth and humanity. And then the, the, the rails, the, the structure supporting this sine curve were circles that fit nicely into that curve. So there is a sense of form and function. At the other, on the other side though, it's completely artistic. But because of my feeling that design is also a cultural mirror, that mirror is showing the dreams of society and to make what is beyond our expectation. I felt that in his work. I left Cuba with this sense of, oh, I feel some synergy with my, my uncle. This ability to see life as what is required to build, but to also see life through a more romantic lens. I, I feel somewhat certain that this is part of my DNA.